Gentlemen of the press, uh, good afternoon. You are welcome to the palace of the great Kugameroya dynasty. Our attention has been drawn to some conflicting stories propagated in some quarters which bordered on the following. One, the paternity of our revered king, his imperial majesty, Rich Arisko Semige JP, OOS the current 24th Ugyame of Benin, Utantan Kingdom, Benin City, Edo South, Igo Domigo land of Edo State. Two, the whereabout of Ugyame Osabo Okonga. Three, the mode of succession of Ugyame Royas II. We call this press conference to put the record straight once and for all. The great Ugyame Royas II and the great Ugyame Roya Palace. The Great Ogameroya Stool and the Great Ogameroya Palace predated the colonial administration that gazetted the Great Ogameroya Stool and the Great Ogameroya Palace as national monument in 1959. It will interest you to know that this is the only royal palace gazetted by the colonial masters which they handed over to the federal government during independence in 1960. The Ogame Stu, Ogame Palace, was also recognized by UNESCO, contrary to the belief that the Oba Obene Palace was also a national monument, which is not true, due to the Armageddon that before the palace in 1897 invasion. In addition to 
the great Ogyame Royas II, recognized in the Midwestern state of Nigeria Gazette, number 59, volume 5, and M MSLN number 37, dated 7th day of November 1968, tied to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Constitution, suspension, and modification of the 1966 Chief's Cap, Chief's Law Cap 19, which is also protected by Part, Part V, Section 38 and 39 of the Bender State Traditional Rulers and Chief Edict of 1979. The appeal court judgment by Justice Jimmy Ulukayode Baba of a P court in the appeal case number CAB slash 99-2016 also confirmed that the great Ogamero Yas II is a recognized instrument. Here, Justice Jimmy Ulukayo Ode Baba of a P court sitting in Benin City, Edo State. I'm quoting him now. It is my humble view that the Ogame of Benin's chieftaincy is one of the recognized instruments, MSLN 37 of 1968, see page 37 of the judgment delivered by Jimmy Oluka Odebaba, JCA, dated Wednesday, 16th day of November 2016, in Benin City, Edo State. The issue of paternity. His Imperial Majesty Rich Arisko Semige JP OOS, the current 24th Ogame of Benin Utantan Kingdom, Benin City, Edo South, Igodemigodo Land of Edo State, is a direct skin of the great Ogame Royal Dynasty. His biological father, late Prince Daniel Osemige Oumese, is the direct male child of late Prince Oumese Ogino. Late Prince Oumese Ogino is the direct male child of Prince Ogino Ekunwe, while late Prince Ogino Ekunwe is the direct male child of Ogame of Ayanzuwa. The aspect of maternity. Ogame Rich Arisko, mother, mother, late Mrs. Victoria Ayeke, Yogbeti, or Semige, Ni Edagmon Yaosa, way of Ilobi village, in Umo, the local government of Edo State, hails from the family of Iyase of Udo, in Ovia Southwest LG of Edo State. The mother is not our daughter. The mother is not Ogame Atope! We hope this will put to rest all the conflicting reports surrounding the true paternity of our king because no one can know the sea more than the fish. It is on record that Oba Benin, known as Obaiweka the first, and the area known as Benin Kingdom, was leased to them by Ogiso Ogiame Irebo via the memorable Etopaga Treaty in 1200 AD. We want to call on Obaiwari II and his ignorant members to stop the campaign of calumny against our revered king, Ogame Rich Arisko Semige JP OOS, who invariably is the custodian of Igodomigodo land. For those who lived in glass houses are advised not to throw stones. Obaiwari should trade with caution. Enough is enough. We are not dragging the stool of the Oba of Benin with them. They should stop dragging into the affairs of the Ogyame Royals too. And also stop describing same as sacrilegious. That is totally unacceptable to us. On the very about of Ogyame Osabo Okwanga, when it became evident that Ogyame Osabo Okwanga was missing, we wrote to the then Commissioner of Police at those states to allow them of the missing of Yame Osabu Okonga. On Tuesday, 6th August 2015, the PPRO of Edo State Police Command, DSP Stephen Owunche, published a press release about the missing of Yame Osabu Okonga. In a swift reaction, the Benin Traditional Council published a rejoinder on Saturday, 8 August 2015, in the Observer, signed by the Secretary, Mr. Frank Irebo, 
querying the use of His Royal Majesty for Gyame Osabu Okonga instead of condoling with us first. Up to this moment of this statement, they have not sent us a formal condolence letter, but they kept saying that Ogyami Osabu Okonga is alive. Even when the police appealed to any person with useful information about the whereabouts to come forward and contact the nearest police station or, or, formal, or family, then the question now is this. Since the Benin Traditional Council knows the whereabouts of Ogyami Osabu Okonga, they should please go to the police and give them the information and stop <coughs> raising unnecessary dust about the whereabouts of Ogyami Osabu Okonga. After all, the preliminary investigation we have done so far, and based on the recent press conference of ESL Benin, does indicate that they are behind the disappearance of Ogyami Osabu Okonga. All this drama is to circumvent the Chupara Treaty to further reenact their dominance in the state. Yes, sir. However, since there is no vacuum in nature, after following the traditional due process, we installed Prince Rich Arisko Semige JP OOS as the 24th Ogyame of Benin Utanta in accordance with our native laws and custom. On the mode of selecting a new Ogyame, wherever there is a vacuum, note the Ogyame Royal School is not hereditary by primogeniture, but through ruling houses. What is today known as Ogyame Royal School came into existence in 9th century AD. At inception, it was known as Ogiso Royal School. The first occupant was Pa Idu Ogiso, the progenitor of Igodomigodo. He was known as Ogiso Igodo. From the era of Ogiso Igodo to the present era, the Ogiso Royal School has passed through four different traditional transitions, namely the era of primogeniture, the era of gerontocracy, the era of second son, and the era of grandson. Historically speaking, the Ogyamie Royal to traditionally has been moving from one ruling house to the other. The way the ancestor designed this transition, it is therefore difficult for any one ruling house to lay absolute claim to the stool. It is therefore misleading to say that the Ogyame Royal stool is only hereditary by primogeniture. For record purposes, the Ogyame Royal stool can be inherited by any direct male child from any of the ruling houses. We know the ruling houses at the appropriate time. We shall publish the list of the ruling houses, indicating details of the family tree. The ruling houses are in the family tree. Anytime there is a vacuum or vacancy, we use our internal traditional mechanism to fill the vacuum. Every transition is unique. The prevailing circumstances always determine who should be installed as Ogyame, hence the various modes of transition, primogeniture, gerontocracy, second son, and grandson. But the truth, however, is that only direct male children are qualified to sit on the throne of Ogyame of Benin Utantan Street. Ogyame, I'm talking about Recently, the chief and the Ninges under Benin Traditional Council requested that the Ogyame should tender apology in three national papers for an offense we don't know. We find such requests appalling and outlandish. Very simple because we are not under them. How can you ask us to publish an apology? The Ogyame is not under, order, Oba, under the Oba opinion. The Ogyame stood predated. In fact, the Ogyame was even gazetted before the Oba opinion. The Oba uh, they were criminally and fraudulently created another Ogyame stool in his palace without our knowledge. We are not part of them. 
O gami a top Yes Finally, we thank you for coming and we hope you will have the courage to report what we have said here today without missing words. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live Edo State. Long live the great Ogeme Royal Dynasty. And long live Utantan Kingdom. Ogeme Atope. Yes, sir. Ogeme Atope. Yes, sir. I'm done. Yeah, go ahead, sir. So in the course of your presentation, yes, sir. you uh, used two phrases that I want to explain. Okay, sir. One, you said, he who lives in a glass house, you know, true story. This audience. And Hello. 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 You said, you live in a glass house, you should not true story. I want you to explain on that. And secondly, why did you say, um, Question the Oba mm -hmm. describing the solution of uh, risco as sacrilegious. Okay, uh, very good. Unfortunately, there will be no there's not, there's not enough time, but I will go briefly to where I use that phrase. Uh, Prince Oromia came to invade Igodomigodo in 12th century AD. During the invasion, they didn't succeed. He deliberately defied, raped and pregnant our daughter, Princess Ayimide, which gave birth to the first Oba of Benin. So the whole of Obaeweka dynasty, they are illegitimate, they are illicit, they are bond children. They are not supposed to, the Oba of Benin is the son of our daughter. And how can the son of our daughter ruling us and still insulting us? That's why we say that those who live in glass houses should not throw stone. Beside that, it has never happened in the history of Benin. Obayere Dawa slept with his own sister, Ikoyeme, an upper daughter, to produce the current Obayere II. It's an abomination in Benin. It has never happened. It has never happened. It's so okay, strange. Yeah. Then, that is even the worst. He himself has even done worse than what the father did. He's always attracted to his sisters, to his siblings. He has had children from his direct siblings. He's sleeping with virtually all his sleeping his siblings in the palace. This is an abomination in Benin for a brother to sleep with a sister. It, it has never happened before. But today it is very common in that over there. And they are stood there. How can somebody live in a glass house with throwing stone? It is wrong. So it is therefore uh, annoying to hear them saying that. My own king is sent. His installation is sacrilegious. When the person talking to person sponsoring this campaign is even more sacrilegious. It's so more sacrilegious that our the, the, the son of our daughter today is our king, and we are worshiping him. We are not we, we are not dragging the stool of the other beneath with them. We are not interested. Allow us bear our father in which is Ogame. They quietly stole it without letting us know. By 1968, Ogiamin was already a gazetted king. Then by 1979, without our knowledge, he went and created another stool in the Oba Benin Palace and said that we are now a chief under him, which is criminal, which is fraudulent. So those who live in glass houses should not throw stone. Another question. Yes, sir. Sir. Uh -huh. Just yesterday, mm -hmm. we overheard that the Bene Traditional Council appealing to the Edo State Government in respect of Ogonure from the graveyard that palace belongs to Jamel family. What is your reaction to this? Ogonure belongs to Jamel royal dynasty. That is where we normally bury our kings. In fact, that place was owned by us. In fact, we even pity them. There's a Caldeat emptor we have published in the Vanguard. There's some local papers over that. We had yesterday and we were just laughing. But maybe what we need to do again for those of them who don't know, we are going to revend that publication again in the Vanguard for them to know that that place does not belong to the Oba of Benin. It belongs to the great Ogiameroya dynasty. We had it last night, so we are already preparing a statement on that. But for now, we want to caution them that there's already a Caldeat emptor published in respect of that place. 
That's my response for now. Any other question? Another one? Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Please, journalists don't go. Just stay outside there. Dress your paper. Go ahead. Go ahead. This family, no. Our king will get married at risk of seven days. This come from here. The mother no come from here. The mother come from, uh, that is the essence of this uh, president, number two. Then with their lives, I bought their life from their mouth. The same was Sabo, when we see this, Commission of Police say, when we publish, Commission of Police collected our data. Three days. Everybody will know where we are going to make it come out. No come out. We don't go fish there and say we don't go get a family head. Police don't do their work. So. We